Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmudov and today I want to show you how to get around detach DOM error by using Cypress element Alice. So I have this example and at first it shows oranges and bananas and after two seconds it replaces those fruits with grapes and apples. So you want to confirm that the first element has the text grapes eventually. So how could we do that? We could probably say, okay, well, we know the markup. First, we have a chain example div. So we'll get the element with chain example. Perfect. Now, inside that element, we'll get the list with ID items. And, you know, we can say items. We can inspect and we get the right first level element, then the items. And maybe inside we'll find li element. So we're kind of developing the query command for command. So it's all you know fine, and we can have some assertions. Uh, and then we get the first element. So we kind of wrote the right query. It gets the first element, and now we think, okay, eventually this first element will have the text uh, grapes. You know, at first oranges but then it should have text grapes and this is where we run into troubles when uh, the application re-renders this whole html right or part of a page where we already selected element cypress you know is working with first element right wherever it's selected from this list and it checks and it checks and all of a sudden this whole element is gone it's no longer part of a page because that part of the page has been completely overwritten, right? So Cypress complains uh, uh, that the element is detached from DOM, so what can you do? Well, it's because, you know, you kind of got all these elements, and now Cypress only tries to fetch the first element from that list, again and again checking its text. And when the whole root element is gone, well, now Cypress doesn't know what to do. So to get around this, store the reference to the element as an Alice. So for example, you know, in, in this case, you might give it a name. Let's say, I don't know. Uh, okay, and let's just uh, show how this works. So we queried the element and we gave it an Alice fruit. Okay, so how do you check the Alice element? You say, so I get, and then the name but with add symbol first, and then you say, like you would do with normal element, should have text fruit. Now notice here a couple of things. First of all, the test passed, right? Because when Cypress was, you know, um, getting and getting the first element, it noticed, hey, whatever my Alice refer to is no longer attached to a DOM. So what did it do? It went back to the start of a chain that led to the Alice, and it got the chain example again, and then the items, and then the two li elements, and then the first element, and then it passed. Right? So it actually requeried all the elements. And notice it actually skipped the assertion. So all the commands, I think, that are not querying, not safe to retry, are skipped. And also, Cypress didn't actually do a good job rendering the command log. See, it is showing the assertion, expanding, and it shows it expanding attached to the very first time we used the alias, not at the end where it actually was successful. So, you know, the UI is imperfect, but by using a DOM element alias, you can avoid DOM attached error because it actually will go and retry the whole chain when you use the alias and the element is no longer attached to a DOM. So, happy testing.